What's up guys, your boy Kaiser. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to record your Android device directly to your computer in order to record gameplay for your YouTube channel or if you want to make a presentation in some way or create a little video for you and your friends. So first thing what you want to do is head over to developer.android.com and then once you go to here, you're going to want to go to develop and you want to go to tools. In here, you're going to find the download for the Android Studio. We do not want the complete studio. What we want is the SDK install manager. So we're going to go to standalone SDK tools and then we're going to download the SDK now. And for those who are not sure about downloading the .zip, which contains all the files, you're going to want to go with the installer.exe. This will allow you to run an installer which we're going to see right here. This is the SDK manager. This is the installer exe. This will allow you, it will guide you through the process of installing certain tools that you want to use. So if you want to go with the bigger download option, go with the .zip that will come with every tool just preloaded and pre-downloaded, or you can go with the install manager and just install them each individually. So with this, the tools that you're going to want to install is the Android SDK tools, the Android SDK platform tools, and you're going to want to install the support libraries. So since I already have this all installed, I pre-installed the SDK platform tools for the, for the purpose of this tutorial. So in this folder, it's located in your computer OS program files and then the Android folder. So in the Android folder, you're going to have one single folder called Android SDK after installing everything. So we're going to put this down real quick. Inside this folder, you're going to have multiple different tools from the SDK manager. And what we're going to want to choose is the platform tools. In here, you're going to see a program called adb.exe. This program is going to be what we're going to use to record our screen in any resolution that you choose. So we're going to switch over to our Android device real quick because we're going to need this in order to provide you guys with how to get it to hook up to the computer properly using the cord that they provided you when you bought your Android device. The one that you use to transfer files from your computer over to your tablet or your phone is the same cord that we're going to be using to plug into the computer in order to record the screen. So let's switch over to it now. Alright guys, now we are currently on the Android device. So in the Android device, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Put your right hand, you're going to want to scroll down this, and you're going to want to go into your settings, and then you're going to want to enable your developer options. So in order to enable your developer options, what you're going to do is that you're going to go over to your about. Uh, on your phone, it's going to be like about your phone, about your tablet, so mine's about tablet. And then in here, what you're going to want to do is where you see the build number, you're going to want to tap that five or six times or so. And then it's going to prompt you here at the bottom. See, mine's already in developer mode, but you're going to have to hit it at least a couple times until it counts down. And then it says you have, you're now a developer. So once that's done, you're going to want to go into your developer options. And then in the bottom right here where you see debugging, you're going to want to enable debugging mode which is USB debugging. This will allow it to connect to your computer and you'll be able to run the tools on your device while being able to kind of access the files of the device itself, which we'll see once we transfer back over to the computer. Once the device is connected to your computer, you're going to want to go back to your platform tools folder and you're going to want to hold down your shift and then right click on the folder. And here you'll get an option called open command window here. You're going to want to select that, and then once the command window opens, you're going to see Program Files, Android, Android SDK, Platform Tools. This means you're in this directory now with your command prompt, and you're going to want to enter in a command. It is called ADB Shell Screen Record. And then from there, you're going to want to put forward slash SD card. And then you want to name it what you want. So we're just going to call this demo.mp4. There are a lot more options to doing this type of recording. You can even customize your bitrate by, so if you want to customize your bitrate, you can put minus minus bit dash rate. And then you put your bitrate that you want to do. But for now, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to use a default, just standard recording, which is three minutes or 30 seconds in length, something like that. So. Here we'll do. Once I hit enter, it's going to switch it over to 1280 by 720 recording. 
and I'm going to load up a game here real quick before we start the recording. Uh, the problem with this tool is that when you do do a recording, it's not going to record any sound and it is limited in the length of time that it records. There are certain batch files that you can use on a Windows computer in order to make it switch over to the next recording directly afterwards. So I will record in many different parts each three minutes in length but usually videos if you're recording a gameplay video they're maximum of three minutes or you know sometimes less than three minutes so you got plenty of time to do these raids so now that I'm in game I'm gonna now hit the recording button and now it's switching over from 1920 by 1200 to 1280 by 720 since I didn't I didn't specify the correct resolution I want to use so in here as you see I'm now gonna just do a couple things in game, put, put my Archer Queen to sleep and stuff like that. If you guys want, I'll get the game sound up real quick. Just so you guys can hear the game sound in the background of my mic. Collect Dark Elixir, Dark Elixir, Elixir, Gold. Alright, and then let's turn the sound back off. So, it doesn't want to turn off. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so in order to stop the recording, what you're going to want to do is hit Control and then C. This will stop the recording, and you will now have the recording done. Now to access the recording, you're going to need to go into the files of your Nexus device or your phone itself. So in order to do that, since you did connect it to your computer using the debugging option, you're going to want to go to computer, and it's going to appear as a little thing. Like whenever you plug a USB, you know, flash drive into your computer, you get this in your main computer options. So we're going to want to go into the Nexus 7, internal storage, and then right here you guys will see demo.mp4. So the demo mp4 is the recording we just did. So we're going to open it up right here. This is the standard quality recording of the Nexus 7, which you're seeing here on the screen now. It's basically just me collecting all the Dark Elixir, putting my queen to sleep. And as you see here, it come out in nice quality. That's me turning the volume up so you guys could hear the sound on the back of my mic. And that's really all it is. I mean, it's really simple. It's really simple to do, guys. And once that's all done, you know, you can drag it onto your desktop. And I already have one on there, so I'm not going to override that because that was the recording of me setting up the developer options. But you can basically put it onto your desktop. You can edit it in you know, some form of editing program. I use Vegas Pro myself. There are other free editing programs such as Windows Movie Maker and other ones free online. I'll try to link a couple in the description box down below. I will also be posting all the links, guys, to what exactly you need when doing this. And guys, thank you again for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you can, please comment, like, subscribe. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this one, don't forget to leave a comment. Alright guys, as always, peace out. Keep on clashing.